Happy Gregorian New Year. It's January the 1st, 2020, and the time is 12.22. Today it's a start of a new Gregorian year, and not only that, but the start of a new decade as well. So it's a really, really powerful day. And it's Red Self-Existing Skywalker Day. And we're here on the chart. There you go. So which you can see is a portal day. And so not only is it a human evolution day today but it's going to be a human evolution year and decade so it's really really powerful energy and time to get into alignment with the mayan spirals it is very complex and it can be confusing at times the mayan new year is on the 26th of july every year in leo energy and has the planetary energies of red moon white wizard of which we're just begun a 13 year cycle this year last year now of course in 2019 blue storm and yellow seed are the energies that align with that date every year so they go into a new energy every year but they're in a 13 year pattern a 13 year cycle so in 2019 on the 26th of july we went into a new 13 year cycle of white wizard which is all about letting the magic flow through us really sinking in with these cycles coming back to natural ways of being and aligning with all that that means in terms of ancient rituals, ancient celebrations, and how ancient people were totally in attunement and built all the amazing sacred sites that we have today that reveal that that reveal the patterns and cycles and their amazing knowledge, which somehow many people seem to have forgotten just because it was such a long time ago and supposedly that we have evolved since then. But actually, in a lot of ways, we've devolved and we've come out of alignment with being in tune with this amazing space that we live in, planet Earth and the beautiful universe as well. So we're moving back into alignment with that. That's the cosmic code. That's what the wave spell is all about, is bringing in awareness of human evolution code. That's what I offer you. So that's the 26th of July pattern new year. The Gregorian calendar, which means the year starts on the 1st of January. And again, if you don't know a lot about that, do Google it and have a check out of how it came into being and what it's all about. And the numerology behind it as well and what that numerology creates, because this is very significant as to how we've been living in particular for the last five and a half thousand years. So today with us being on red self-existing Skywalker, that means that's a year four. And so this 13 year cycle that we're in now, in a year four of it, is one that began in 2017, and that is white mirror. So white mirror is a mastery energy and is all about what's reflecting back at us in the holograph that we've created so again what i want to offer you is we're in a big mystery school a giant mystery school we're all going through human evolution training coming to realize what our code is what our ancestry is what we're here to evolve 
what we're seeing reflecting back to us all the time as a result of our inner coding, our inner belief system, our inner experience, experiential journey as human beings that we're repeating throughout our family line. And so the Gregorian calendar every year, and you can check this out, I've got a specific blog on flowwithjoe.com about Gregorian calendar and the cycles. And I'll be posting a blog about this in more depth. I'll be doing an update in the next few days as well around what this is as to its significance because the Gregorian spiral is the conscious dreamer wave spell. Okay, so the conscious dreamer codes are Red Skywalker, White Mirror, Blue Knight, and Yellow Star. So again, it's recognizing that we've got 20 Mayan signs and each one of them comes into a family of four members. There's four colors, red, white, blue, and yellow. And red is about awakening, white is about refining, blue is about transforming, and yellow is about the manifestation, the result of that. So again, depending on what Mayan sign you are, you can know more about your energy and just by the colour, for example, of, of what your life mission is about, your mission impossible, should you choose to connect to it. And so going back to where we are on, on this particular cycle of White Mirror, we're on year four, which means the previous three years. So if you look back to what you were doing when it initiated on 2017, that was really key because that was white magnetic mirror. So if you think about what your circle in your cycle was back then, who was in your life, what were you doing? And in year two, which was 2018, that was a new learning coming in. And that was uh, Blue Lunar Night. So again, seeing what's, what feels amazing and fantastic, heart-centered, inspires us. That's really key because uh, that's our Mission Impossible goal, if you like. Uh, we're in Capricorn energy. We've got Mercury in Capricorn at the moment. This is all about goal setting, being disciplined at this time of year, which is why we often... Um, create new year resolutions so again it's just working with the astrology that's really key as well the year after uh, last year in 2019 we were in yellow electric seed sorry yellow electric star getting mixed up with the planetary energies uh, can be confusing at times so yeah yellow electric star was being a, the star that you really are. And really key to this is knowing your astrology and starting to learn that and learning what your cosmic codes are as well. So you can understand your energy circuitry, literally, that, because that's what your astrology is on a deeper level. You start to understand your cosmic codes and you really start alchemically then to be able to work with them through the different levels of consciousness. So just having an, an intellectual awareness with these codes is key in the beginning and then starting to go deeper around working with them. And you don't need to do that in a linear way either. You can do that in a spiral way because this is what this is all about. Tuning in and knowing what the next piece of your puzzle is when it's right for you. This is not about a one size fits all. The matrix, the wave spell is the antithesis of that. So, so this is really key. So last Gregorian year, I know a lot of people found it particularly difficult and had some very challenging life lessons coming up. 
Another way to look at that is this is getting you in alignment with truth, with health, with what came before we've been living these out of alignment ways of being for the human being. So there are always gateways, there are always portals through to another aspect of ourselves which is more evolved. And the more that we really work with this and the more that we look at our key areas that aren't working for us and do something about it, the more we start to become clear and free. And it just starts to become easier. It's very, it is very difficult to begin with often uh, because it means that we are going into new territory, new world, and our emotional mind, our ego doesn't like it simply because it's new and it feels uncomfortable. So again, a lot of the thinking around creating new mindsets, new patterns, new behaviours is it takes around 28 days to rewire our neural pathways. And so it is, it is just really being persistent and disciplined and not trying to do too much as well in one go uh, around new learning. So just taking the baby steps and keep going over them until eventually, again, just like with the Mayan calendar, you know, day one, day two, day three, and then day four, year four, you've got a different structure going on because of the previous three years. So this year, Red Skywalker is very key around being a self-existing, being free of codependency, pattern person, templates, holding that template, knowing that we are the conduit between heaven and earth on a spiritual level so we're a human being with a spiritual aspect to ourself and the more that we work harmoniously with those aspects the more we create heaven on earth by letting go of anything that has been hell in our life and human beings have had a lot of that and are still having a lot of that right now so each person doing this journey for themselves as the Skywalker, that's the key. This is the Buddha process, the Christ process, the getting clear process, whatever you want to call it. So previous cycle to White Mirror was Red Skywalker in 2004 to 2016. And that was when we had the Venus transit in 2004 and also remembering that the Mayan calendar is totally connected to Venus and yellow star and blue monkey so yellow star as part of this code is ruled by the planet Venus and so is blue monkey which is the core strategy here in the column the blue within the blue is all about healing our childhood healing the divine child so that we can be clear and free of the old patterns and the old wounding and therefore live a very different experience as part of our holograph. So the last 13 year cycle of White Mirror was in 1965 which is the year that I was born and again so very significant for me and people of my generation who were born in that year. Red self-existing Skywalker year was in 1968. So we're revisiting 1968. And again, once you start to connect all these spirals together, it is truly amazing and mind-blowing just seeing it all there because we just don't have any doubt there then. You know, the evidence is there. Uh, to be seen working out the spirals and my intention is to keep logging these spirals as and when I become aware of them and post them on my blog so please do check that out and if you choose then you can really start to work deeper on your 
your own pattern and your own cycle because you can see how it all works for you on a personal level and that is the most important focus is for the person to understand themselves first know thyself this is really key if you're going to be self-empowered and aware consciously aware and working consciously but again you don't need to do this all at once you've lived this long without knowing this so you know again it's just being really gentle with ourselves often we've been programmed to believe that we have to have these huge goals and push ourselves beyond our limits and that is not true it just makes us ill basically so we're we're coming into alignment with health and well-being in this decade very much around what is good for the human being so in terms of the astrology today um, at the moment as I'm making this we have as I said we are in Capricorn Sun and we are moon in Pisces which is building up to a full moon in Cancer on January the 10th uh, which is going to be quite a challenging one and um, inside degrees as I always use I'm just going to bring up the story for where we are. Okay, so where we are right now, we're in Pisces at 22 degrees. So the website for this is aqua or fire.net. A blacksmith creating an ornate garden gate. Hard substance is impossibly tough if you fall into letting it be that but is the perfect basis if you're willing to make it so. All the resistances, crystallizations, dysfunction, and foundational dissonances are great excuses to stop or immense occasions to start. You get laid low if you do not know what to do with the stuff of this world. But if you have learned the subtle craft of world making, you're best off meeting up against the hardest places and discovering how to turn them completely around. The exceedingly demanding guild of those who dig into the depths and draw forth beauty and infinite power from the brutal and heavy realities which otherwise seem impenetrable. A stubbornly hardworking, impossible to discourage craft of reworking the primal soil. Mostly unproductively, mostly learning how forever paying your dues never quite getting it right until there comes a day when even the obdurate bends to the inner design when the conviction is complete wow okay so that's an amazing story that i've not read before and pisces at 22 degrees is a mary magdalene code it's a master builder number number 22 and again when you add them together it gives a structure of four so perfect alignment for me making this video now to go back to when we were at one minute past midnight we were at pisces 16 in the uk uh, in the london area Pisces 16 degrees, a peaceful child on a narrow ledge that overlooks a precipice. Fate has set the pattern. You are held fast by fate. Yet inwardly you are so deeply and fundamentally free that you are actually submitting to your fate from a true and pure place. The situation you pull in is outwardly severe. You are a vast being trapped in a tiny form and you cannot really go anywhere or do anything to change this. Instead, you are released by your outward bondage to dream, to remember, to envision, and to make cosmic connections. The inner life is boundlessly rich. The outer life is starkly poor. But you live within, make good on the past, cleanse and open, and know that nothing is as it seems and form is tissue thin. Wow, again, really beautiful 
and key to what the conscious dreamer is all about so it's remembering that we come here at this time when life is very tough on planet earth and we're undergoing a turning point at this time so we've had to come into it we've had to embody it we've had to become experts on it on how it's crafted literally on every level of our being in our dna and with that awareness and with all the tools that we have now we are ready to turn that around that start place we can be here we survived all our lineage has survived up to now in order for us to be here so it's taking the lessons being the disciple being disciplined and really working with the truth of it is what it is and it creates what it creates and no excuses around that because as much as the human ego wants to bend things to make it fit their world there's a huge price to pay for that there's collateral damage and we are seeing the results of that now on the planet there's also many many wonderful things and it's also focusing on those at this time of year we are in the dark time it's time to really work with the inner persephone and again look up the myth if you don't know about persephone uh, again totally connected to venus as well the venus cycle all of these myths hold great wisdom around process and this is really key for us now to, to start to work with this on a practical level rather than just on an intellectual level and to become the process consciously to create the shift. And I have no doubt that it is happening because it is scripted and at the same time paradoxically it's not a passive thing you know that we're here to be spectators we're here to actually do the work so it's going into this emotional evolution with the intention of doing whatever work we need to do on ourselves. The card today with a minor recall is universal movement. That's the number 13. And again, this is so key if you look up the numerology of the Gregorian calendar, as I mentioned before, which is based around 12 and 7 in terms of 12 months and 7 days in a week. And compared to the Mayan calendar, which is 13 and 20. And 13 is the number of shift. Okay, so again, it's often been told to be something that's unlucky, 13, but it's actually the shift number. And the more that we start to really work with that, we've got the structure of 12, and we're very embedded with that structure. We know what that creates now, what we've created, what that's manifested for us. But as we move more and more into 13 dynamic, then we get to use what we've learned to create the shift the thoth card which is mercury and like i mentioned before mercury is in capricorn now we have the princess of discs and again this is such a beautiful card i love this card if you look at the symbology there so she's holding something and this is a really key symbol for the age of Horus coming in. I'm, on my blog, I will put a link. Um, great website is Eli that I use because he always puts so much Eli Tarot. If you just look him up and put in Princess of Discs, Thoth, he goes into amazing depth generally with these cards because they are super, super deep because they have all the magical work in them and the in-depth astrology as well. But you can see there that she is also there with the, the horns of Aries. 
And so at this time of year, we've just had the winter solstice and we're looking forward to the spring equinox. So it, these seeds that are within us now, they're really starting to ripen because the light is returning. And so it's key to look, again, I've done a blog about this, about the spring equinox, key to look at that um, around the cycles because this is when we go into Aries, this is when the solar wheel begins and it corresponds with this 13 year cycle of white mirror because once we go into the spring equinox we're going to be going into blue self-existing monkey and again this cycle began in 2017 with the yellow warrior wave spell and the warrior wave spell connects to again this is a, this is a different tribe so it's the tribe of the 260 day cycle initiator which is red dragon okay so we've got red dragon we've got white world bridger we've got blue monkey and we've got yellow warrior so this is all about what the great mother is bringing in for us for our human evolution and so we're now seeing the end result of a 52 year cycle you know we're in the last one of yellow around the spring equinox and i've written quite a few blogs about this as well but this is a time that we're building towards now and um, we're getting ready we are rewiring we're resting we're rejuvenating so just like the bulbs that are deep in the earth that's what this time is all about it's starting to work with that energy more and more with that conscious awareness of the goal of spring equinox is when the sap rises and when all everything starts to ripen bud the green man all of that energy coming into being then at this time now back in 2017 when this cycle began i did a retreat in glastonbury and it was absolutely amazing at that time i did it in the aries part of the zodiac and i am going to be doing another retreat for the spring equinox on the 20th of march and i'm just crafting it at the moment so please do get in touch if you'd like to be involved in that it's going to be extremely powerful and it is going to be really focusing on transformation and understanding code and understanding the process of how to rewire code it will only be for a small group of people because it has to be small in order for me to work on a deeper level with code and so that we can work together to share that information. So I'm thinking at the moment that it is going to be around the Tintagel area because that is such a magical, magical place. And I have been there before at spring equinox time in the past. So again, if you want to see the future, just look into your past and all the clues are there. Wishing you an amazing time of this new decade, this new shift, it's so powerful. It's such an amazing time to be alive and create heaven on earth and be part of that process so take heart whatever's been happening to you it has been for your evolution and it's making way for an amazing time in the future which begins right here right now every day consciously creating the life that we want to live from the heart with love, compassion, kindness, and 
being the gift that we came here to be at this time. So lots of love from me and please do get in touch if you want to know any more information about anything that I've spoken about. My blog is flowwithjo.com. See you soon. Bye for now.